All right, ready, Jocelyn? Go. 14-year-old Jocelyn Hanyati plays hockey for Gilmore Academy. In games, it's all ice. Here at the Ohio Hockey Academy, practice is a little different. It's synthetic ice. Well, at first I was like, this is plastic. Is it even possible to skate on it? It's a little hard at first, but then once you skate on it a few times, it feels just like normal ice. And when you actually get back on normal ice, it's so much easier. The synthetic ice also helps you push harder because it's not as slippery. And they work you really hard out here. And I mean really hard. Make sure you're coming here, right? Stay low. Mike Wilson is the owner of the Ohio Hockey Academy and played in the NHL for seven years. By definition, synthetic ice is a solid polymer material. Wilson believes it's solid training material. I describe it as high altitude training at sea level. So you're working that much harder. Another way to improve your game is their hockey simulator, which tracks the speed and accuracy of your shots. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> but the real score with these players and coaches is the hockey treadmill. Depends how you look at it. It's either your best friend or, or torture. 11 year old Curtis Hall is awesome on it. And what about, well, forget my age, a novice skater. One, two, no hands. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little high maintenance, but Coach Wilson says the ice isn't. It lasts about eight years and no Zamboni required. Just one of these. Vacuum it every day and we put a you know, water-based lubricant on uh, probably every second day. Other than that, the maintenance is, is easy. In this rink, the ice may not be real, but the work ethic is. If you're willing to work hard, and know that when you come in here, you're going to bust your butt and you're going to sweat more than you ever sweat. You get a ton out of it.